Hi everyone. Hi Vicki Bettis. Good to see you. Glad y'all are here to say your prayers today. We'll get started in about three minutes. Hey, Sarah, good to see you. Uh, we'll get started in about three minutes uh, in the Book of Common Prayer on page 103. If you don't have a BCP, you can go to BCP online and find it there. Hi, Henry. Yes, uh, we will definitely pray for those West Coast firefighters. And Sam, huh, yes, I was thinking about 9-11 today, of course. Um, we'll definitely remember those who gave it all 19 years ago, the first responders and all the firefighters. Gosh, that was, that was quite a day. Just to reminisce a little bit, I was down in Vicksburg, Mississippi as the spiritual director for a uh, boarding school for All Saints Boarding School. And, uh, my son Dylan would be born 11 days after 9-11. So I was very, very pregnant and keeping prayer vigils with kids from all over the world. Uh, while we watch those horrific videos. So um, in the midst of all that, God was there and we were praying and loving each other. And gosh, it was a day that changed our, our country. So Sam, thanks for reminding us of that. Hey, Karen, Jeannie and Shannon. Jean, sorry. Shannon, glad y'all are here. We miss you too, Shannon. If y'all haven't tried it out, uh, boy, we had a small service here at 8 o'clock last Sunday. There were about 50 people present, all socially distanced with mask on, and we got to give out bread for communion in a very, very safe way. I'm a, I'm a scaredy cat of this virus, but I felt very, very safe. And so if you're really missing this community, I encourage you to make your reservation to sign up to come to church on Sunday. Hi, Tricia. Glad you're with us. We'll get started in about one minute. Trisha, I thought about you yesterday. My daughter and I were walking through a field and a, uh, a piece of a pine branch had fallen down and it looked like a peacock. And so I thought of you. Uh, Louisa said, oh, the, the, it looks like the feathers and the, and the stick looks like the head. So it's always fun to, to think of you folks. Hi, Michael. Glad you're here. I'll be saying some prayers toward the back of the prayer book on page 815 and um, 823. So if you wanted to mark those, you don't need to follow along. You can just listen and pray, but some people like to know where they're, where those are. All right, it is noon, so let's get our prayers going together. We begin on page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's read Psalm 126 on page 105 together. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were, were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our passage today is one we'll be studying on Sunday in the Forum, Micah 6, 8. God has told you, O mortal, what is good. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love mercy, 
to walk humbly with your God. In the middle of page 106, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all peoples of this earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake. sake. Amen. On page 815, the prayer for the human family. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you. Harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 823, the prayer for social justice. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please remember you may type your prayer request in the comments. Dear God, we give thanks to you for this beautiful day, for adding it to our lives, for this community of people who gather together to worship you and remember the love you have for your creation, to live in that hope and the joy that that hope brings. We pray for your church. We pray for all bishops, priests, deacons, and lay leaders. We pray for those on the front line of this virus, for all first responders and medics, all teachers, administrators, parents, and students. We pray for all grandparents and aunts and uncles who are missing their extended family. And we pray especially for the West Coast firefighters and all the victims of the fires. We remember those who gave it all 19 years ago during 9-11. We pray for those who are missing their church. We pray for Bernice, Pat, Anna, Connie, and John. We pray for the Good Shepherd retirement community, for all others that you would name now. We give thanks for the Love Thy Neighbor event and the messages of hope from all over the country and all over the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for joining us. I see that Frida and Vicki and Carl jumped in and Edie. Good to see y'all. And uh, Vicki, I'm sorry I missed your prayers for Terry. We will also hold Terry in our prayers. Please remember to register for the 8 o'clock um, service. We also will pray for Wayne. Sorry, that just came through too. Please remember to register for the eight o'clock service if you wanna come. It'd be good to see um, not just your heads, but maybe your whole bodies in person. Uh, also remember we're starting a new series in formation uh, and we're gonna be studying justice and then mercy and then humility and how they all work together for us to help bring about the kingdom of God. And so if you want to, uh, to order the Little Book of Biblical Justice is the name of the book we're using, but it's not required. Uh, we sure would love to see you all log on at 9.15 on Sunday. And in the meantime, uh, we remember this holy day, um, the events of 9-11, and let us hold everyone we meet today in peace and in uh, great care for this world. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And maybe I'll see some of you on Sunday in person. And if not, maybe uh, through Facebook and through the live stream. Y'all take care. Bye.